Glenn, when you speak towards atheists in your videos, you come across as the kind of person that has the assumption that he ought to be revered or respected for his faith in Christ. And I don't know what gospel you're looking at, Glenn. I understand the theory behind that, that you feel like you have to tell atheists that they're idiots and, and that they're, they're liars because they're bringing up points that challenge your faith. In, in the scripture that I read, Glenn, we're supposed to look like fools, okay? We're supposed to look like we're a little bit out of it. I mean, all my friends who aren't Christian, they think I'm delusional, they think I'm, I guess, a fool in a nice way. And that doesn't bother me, Glenn, and it shouldn't bother you. It's, we, we did accept Christ, at least I know I did, because I looked at all this archaeological evidence and, and, and decided that, oh, the Word of God is historically backed and this is the only logical way to go. No! No! Logic! Logic is not going to bring us there, Glenn. It's not. The, Christianity is not about being able to put everything together in your head and, and, and make a complete intellectual sense to God. We can't understand God. God is like this big and our brains are that big. We're, we're supposed to look like fools, Glenn. So I don't understand how you, how, how you think you're going to help the kingdom of God by talking to atheists the way you do. It, I didn't want to make another video about this, Glenn, but you keep on spewing this hate towards non-believers. I mean, you're, you talk to all Christians that agree with you like they're your own children, like, like they're wonderful and you love them and you care about them. But to those who challenge your faith and those, those, those who, who, who question, question you and tell you that you don't know what you're talking about, do you think your reaction is appropriate? Really, Glenn, how is that helping, helping the kingdom of God? publicly denounce for everyone, Glenn, is, is your your uh, wish that Richard Dawkins really gets it stuck to by God before God sends him to hell. That God really smacks him around and shows him how stupid and, and prideful and horrible he is before he gets sent to an eternity in hellfire. Glenn, hell is not something you should wish upon anyone. If you think that those who know Christ deserve salvation, more than those who don't know him, to those who challenge Christianity. If you think you deserve salvation more than those people, then you need to repent of that pride, Glenn. You, you sound like, I mean, you say that you, you, you're, you're hostile towards atheists in defense of God. God's not that insecure, Glenn. God's not that insecure. You don't need to insult atheists on his behalf. What someone needs to show you, Glenn, is that you're attacking atheists because of your own bruised ego, and thus are going against what Christ came here to show us, to love each other, to have compassion on one another, to get mistreated, and show them compassion nonetheless.